and J. Jenner from Bond. Uh, all right, my basket. There seems to be a lot of things in here, so I'm just gonna go on ahead and start taking things out. Let's see, that's... All right, here's the good deed, and then here's the activity. All right. That's the activity. It says, can you help Zayd and his mother reach his family? Zayd and his mother are actually people from Islam, so... Like, those are real people that used to actually be alive, so... Yep. All right, then here's the Hadith. Wow. And this is the ayah. This is the first thing we're going to do. All right. Quran ayah. All you who believe this decreed upon you is fasting as it was decreed upon those before you that you may become righteous. This is saying like how does Ramadan and how does fasting help you become righteous? So that's the ayah. Now the hadith. This is day 10 as it says right here. You'll probably know from the title. Hadith. Fasting is a shield. It will protect you from the hellfire and prevent you from sins. Okay, here, read it for yourself. You have five seconds. Okay. okay. That's the hadith. This is explaining how to keep you away from, like, the hellfire and all the bad things. Fasting is a shield. Look, so fasting is like a shield, so you're like an army. Like, just go back in the 90s. You have a shield. And then the hellfire is an enemy soldier charging at you. This is what the shield does. The enemy soldier hits against the shield instead of you. That's, yeah. So fasting keeps you away from the hellfire. Now, what it is, is um, it makes you, a fasting in Ramadan, it physically helps you. It physically cleanses you because... Uh, your, your system gets a break from eating a lot, if you eat a lot. Uh, it just gets a break anyway. But it also keeps you away from things like uh, uh, like um, backbiting, which is talking bad about people when they're not around, lying, swearing, hurting people with your hands like this, and, and also um, hurting people with your tongue, which means... Um, like, saying something that hurts their feelings, like saying something. This is, like, actually hurting them. Saying something is, like, you would say that, like, uh, you would, you would say it, like, you would just say some mean words. That's what, um, hurting someone with your tongue is. So we try to stay away from those things the whole time. It also, Ramadan also refreshes you and to become a better human being. It just completely refreshes you. Completely. It's like you press the refresh button on your computer when it's not loading. <laughs> it's a problem I always have. The good deed is write a nice note to your dad. Okay, that's easy. Wow. Now this is a good idea because we shouldn't wait for Mother's Day and Father's Day to uh, let our, to uh, get, write a good note to our parents because they've been helping us since the day we were born and so on till the day we um pass. They've also been loving us and showering us with care and awesomeness. So our parents don't only deserve one day of appreciation, they deserve every day. Just look at it. Now, I'm going to be making a um, uh, a note for my dad. I'll also be writing, good, uh, that, writing down good things about him. And now I've gotten another present. So, da, 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 that's, that's a tissue. <gasps> Legos! Oh, la, la, la. I love Legos so much. <gasps> Guys, please. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. I love Legos. Please put the hashtag Legos in the comments. Once again, like, subscribe, and comment down below.